you need great competition. The fact that, and I'm not saying this, no one has paid me yet. The fact that Times Now Network has ruled the roost for so long is because you'll have a damn good brand. You have a good product. If you had a terrible product and great strategy, it wouldn't work. If you had a great product and no strategy, you would fail. That's the problem with the opposition today. So even if they have a great product regionally, they have a very, very poor strategic bent of mind. And you know why? They are planning for tomorrow. Modi is planning for 2047. When you plan for 2047, you play chess. When you plan for tomorrow, you play kabaddi. That's the difference. I'm, I'm being informed that a lot of our viewers will also want to take questions. So we'll open up the session in just a moment. We'll get the mics to you where you are. But before that, uh, I just want to use this opportunity so well to you know, squeeze in one quick question. In spite of whatever we say, in spite of whatever is discussed here, why is it that for the Western press still, there is a problem with brand Modi? Is it because you know, of the history? Is it because of the fact that they cannot digest the fact that India is on its way to becoming a superpower, or India today has a voice? I mean, why? Why is the Western press still so against brand Modi? So again, <clears throat> without asking you which school assume you did read William Shakespeare. If you did, there's a play, Julius Caesar, in which Mark Antony asks Brutus, why did you stab Caesar? Brutus's response is brilliant, Shakespeare. He says, it's not that I loved Caesar less, I loved Rome more. It's not that the Western press hates Modi less, they hate the success of India more. And the more you react, the more they will get under your skin. Treat them like the barking dog and treat yourself as the karma. You don't need to respond to every barking dog. If you say, but why did the New York Times do this? Why did the Washington Post? Ki farak pende hai? Kyo kilesh mol lende ho tu si? Kyo siapa le rahe ho? Onnu karan deo jo kar den. Why? You know, there's an old saying in Bengali. And Bengalis were always, you know, I'm more Bengali than Punjabi, but they're always self-victims. You ask a Bengali, Kya man dada, shop thika che? Hey, kete ja che, rokto be roche na. I mean, my neck is cut, but no blood is coming out. That is the situation with New York Times and Washington Post. America, neck kete ja che, kindu rokto be roche na. Ejo ne to apna dir pisho ne ache. Ignore korun. Okay, we can have a good laugh at that. <laughs> we'll get the mics coming to the audiences in case someone wants to take a question. Anyone? Okay, yes. I, I see a hand going up there on the left and the right both. If you can have the mics going there, please. And do remember you're asking your question to Brand Sohail Sate. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, please. Thanks for the keynote, Sohail. Like, it was great, and. I would say I resonate to most of it, but like the first question would be like when you say brand Modi or somebody as a leader and you're like setting him up to the one of the best standards, like how important is for a leader to choose a successor and where, where do you see him, let's say, on that path? Yogi Adityanath, Amit Shah, Nitin Gadkari, what's your name? Pranav? Pranav Virmani. Pranav Virmani, sub possible, eh? Jeet ke hao? Yeah, definitely, but like, when you, like... Can I tell you, these are all old management notions. Will you please choose a successor? Have you asked Jamie Dimon that? Do you know who he is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you asked him that? Um, Deepak Parekh ran HDFC, I think, uh, longer than India's freedom struggle. Did you ask him that? Why? How is it relevant? Let me tell you, the BJP is a carder run party. They will have a succession plan in place. The only problem is they haven't had the time to share it with you. Once you're free and you tell them, they'll come and visit you and share the plan. Yeah, yeah. looking forward to it. Okay, a quick follow-up question before we take another from the gentleman there on the right who raised his hand. Uh, he just spoke about a number of names, Yogi Adityanath, Amit Shah and all. So well, are these equally big brands? You know, I want to take you... Or they all come under the umbrella of brand Modi only. So let's have a very interesting history session again. India has never predicted a future Prime Minister other than Jawaharlal Nehru. 
and let me take you through history today. If I miss one or two, don't uh, miss, miss, miss. Pandit Nehru died on May 27, 1964. Everyone thought that, uh, you know, Moraji would become or whatever. You had Gulzari Lal Nanda as interim. You had Lal Bahadur Shastri. He died. It was not Indira Gandhi's turn. She became. Did you ever imagine that Narasimha would be Prime Minister? Did you ever imagine I.K. Gujral would be Prime Minister? I think even I.K. Gujral never imagined he'd be Prime Minister. <laughs> Deve Gowda slept through his Prime Ministership. Did you ever imagine Charan Singh would be Prime Minister? Chandra Shekhar would be Prime Minister? When Vajpayee became Prime Minister, everyone thought Advani ji would be Prime Minister. When Advani ji thought he would be Prime Minister, Narendra Modi became Prime Minister. <laughs> Have you ever predicted a Prime Minister other than Nehru? No. So, jab hoga, to hoga, to quote Sam Petroda, hua, to hua. <laughs> you must always keep the opposition.